Hey traders, what is going on? Welcome back to the first trade for the week. Um, we're gonna take this trade on USD CAD. Let me change this real quick. There we can see for anybody that wants to see this is a live account. Um, the way this recording thing set up is just clips off a bit of the top and a bit of the bottom. So it's kind of just blocked. So let me just go through, share the analysis real quick. So we have a low right here and a low right here, which we have the possibility to break um, before making further moves to the upside. So from there, one thing I want to do is just place my fib from the swing low to swing high. Then we have our E1, E2 levels that we can enter at. We already did hit the E1. Um, this is why I'm going to try to just put my my entry, my pending order right back at the E1 for another re-entry, things just like that. Let me move this. But let's first go to the weekly time frame so we can see what our perspective is. So the last last week was a bearish week. Um, but the, the U.S. is having a lot of bullish pressure. So we're still going with um, the bullish pressure last week. Over 50% of it um, did close back bullish. So um, for now, that is the idea that we're going with. We're going to take longs on this until proven otherwise. Um, so weekly time frame bullish. So given that, when we go down to our lower time frames to look for our entries, we, like I said, um, we have swing low to swing high. And then if this opportunity does fail, we do have another the next most recent swing low to swing high on which we can look for entries by the E1 and E2 and we can see that E2 level um, that E2 level aligns with the, the previous low in a way and the E1 level always also lands in line with a previous structure low so those are definitely places where price can find some type of support if we do go that low before going back to new upsides okay so given that we have this E1 level right here, I'm just gonna go through and add this pending order in. Let's just do it like this. So our stop loss is going to go swing low. Our entry can go there's place that at the E1. Let's grab our take profit, put it at the T1. But let's go through and send that over. Boom. Limit order in. Hopefully we can send our charts perfectly over into the telegram and everything like that. And we have no issues whatsoever. Okay. And because we're already here, I'm just going to go through and make sure our E2 entries lined up as well. But there we go. We are in. Let us grab a picture. So now that that's in we're gonna do one more for the e2 level guys what's going on i'm about to leave my home to go meet up with some other traders and our tp was just hit on this you can see um remember this is one hour time frame we had our our projection from the swing low to swing high right e1 section right to the t1 section and we got out if i can just show it here on the the community Right, so public telegram, we pulled 68 pips. Um, originally, our stop loss was set at uh, nine pips, right? So we had risk one for 7.6. .7 and yeah, that one came through with a winner. Um, that's all to be said on that one. We will come through, look for another trade. Yeah, we'll come through, look for another trade later on. We're still looking for this price to still make um, new highs. I remember we were talking about the other ones below, um, other ones too. So these ones should keep making new lows, right? Should keep making new lows. But that being said, we will look into more opportunities into next week. I'll catch you later in the next one.